Today, in honor of my Irish great-grandmother, we're making Irish soda bread. Rebel canners teaching all kinds of food preservation, especially the old ways. <laughs> we all can use a little bit more of the old ways these days. Hey, be sure you're subscribed because sometimes YouTube does some funny things with that. And be sure to hit the like button on your way out. Thanks. Welcome back, Rebel Ganners. Today, in honor of my Irish great grandmother, who I am searching on ancestry to uh, find her parents. She seems to be a mystery. I love those gen genealogy brick walls. But in honor of her and her coming to America and marrying my great grandfather, I am going to make this Irish soda bread with you today. Um, I have a whole series that I did um, earlier about the different breads, but this is a quick bread. And quick breads are wonderful because you don't have to wait for them to rise. You don't have to do a whole lot with them. You just mix them, bake them, and they're ready to go. Uh, quick for company. And so this is a wonderful one. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's gather our ingredients. So we need to start out three and a half cups of flour. Two thirds cup sugar. One teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, one and a half cups of raisins, one and one third cup of buttermilk, two beaten eggs, four tablespoons of melted butter, one half teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of caraway seeds. I'm not a fan, so I leave these out. Go ahead and mix the ingredients together until well blended. Grease and flour your baking pan. All right, here we go. You can see that very well. Go ahead and add our flour in here. Oops, got off the top of the thing. That'll make a mess. Three and a half cups of flour. There we go. We have our baking powder. Baking soda, Oops. vanilla, salt. Wish I could. There we go. Salt. Sugar, our milk is going in here. 
This is just not a great view of this camera. Sorry. And then our two eggs, which should be beaten, but I'm going to beat them in here because I just don't want to make that big of a mess. throw those away. And last but not least, our raisins. All right. Let's let our... Oh, I can't see it from here. Hang on. It's just going to be one of those days today. I'm going to go ahead and mix with my bread hook into a well blended. Of course, I can't help but play. All right, so the KitchenAid mixer dough hook really did not do well with this not at all so I have wound up doing it by hand which is fine it's actually not hard to do really quick just got to get the rest of this flour here mixed down in from the bottom the dough hook just did not get a hold of it at all so I'm going to go ahead and just mix it thoroughly keep turning it and getting that in there this is a great breakfast bread for toast. If you've got company coming over, this is a great bread to uh, put out for breakfast. Wonderful flavor. All right, let me get my pan ready. I should have greased and floured it before, but here we go. All right, there's the oven saying it's preheated. Let me get the rest of this dough. This dough, like, it tastes like cookie dough. And this is just for my family. And they don't mind my fingers. That just adds love. I got comments one day like, you lick your fingers and you do this. I'm like, yep. Never trust a cook who doesn't taste your own cooking while it's going. All right. Let's see if we can just kind of spread that out a little more evenly. Out to the 
the sides. But yes, this is always definitely going to be a rustic style loaf. And of course, if you're doing it for company, don't lick your fingers and use another knife to scrape your spoon or your spatula. But that's just for me and my family today. And it's made with love. Let's see if I can get all the dough out of here. Yeah, don't use your KitchenAid. Um, I thought, oh, I'll use my KitchenAid. It'll be so much easier. That was a fail. And you know what? I like to show you my failures just as much as my successes. So let's take this baby right now. One open. Over here. And we're going to put her in the oven. Watch that hot oven. All right. And now we bake. So there you go. Well, my grandma might have used a stove like this, but I've got a more modern version. Bake in a 350 degree oven for 50 to 60 minutes. Let your bread cool before slicing. And enjoy. I hope you enjoy your Irish soda bread. Check out these other videos in our bread making series. Thank you, Rebel Canners. Like, subscribe, and as always, ring that notification bell. Have a great day, Rebel Canners.